Hello everyone, welcome back to another Redstone tutorial video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a very simple one block, one block wide 3x3 three three piston door. So, yeah, there it is, open closing that. So for this video, you're going to need 11 sticky pistons, 7 observers, 3 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone torch, 1 block of redstone, 12 redstone, 3 droppers, 1 piece of dirt, a redstone comparator, two blocks of glass and a lever and then these are just for building the door and elsewhere around your door so without further ado let's get right into step one so in step one we're just going to simply go up four blocks and destroy these two and go across like this and like this and up up so three blocks up and then obviously three blocks across across completing your little square so these blocks are what are going to be used in your door so these are what blocks are going to be pushed in so whatever blocks you want to use for your door you use around here right next step we're going to add in the pistons so we're going to come here and we're going to go like that oh not like that go on like that there we go and then we're going to come here you know, add them like that. Then when we'll this part gonna go out like this. Go up like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. Like this, simple as. Oh. Well that was a bit unlucky. Uh come on. Yeah we go. There we go. Let's gonna move on to this bottom part here. So first of all we're gonna Go out one, place a dropper facing inwards like this, and then get an observer and place it in like this. This should trigger this. Then you want to get a lever and place it here like this. This will be your thingy, like the opening, how, how you open it. But you can, you can add that little mess because I'm taking add T flip flop, whatever. Uh, then you want to get redstone dust, place one on top of here. Also, you need to be crouching the whole time you're doing this. I'm going to set this one to 4 ticks, so right the way to the end, fades in, into that um, piston. And now you need to get some blocks, place them like this. Another redstone repeater leading out here on 4 ticks. A redstone torch on top. Another block on top. Redstone torch here. Redstone torch here. So this is step 3. Now step 4, this is where we start to really get into the block. I'm just using different blocks to make it so you guys can see it maybe a little bit better. So we're going to go three across like this, and we're going to go right over the top with redstone. So we go all the way over like this. Then we'll come down here, place a block, put redstone there, like this. Then you want to get your two bits of glass, put them here. This doesn't interfere with the redstone circuitry, so you can turn it simply like this. And basically this is now just going to go around and power all your pistons. The next part is the little bit harder part, which gets in our double extension. So if you look at it now, it works when it closes, but when you go to open it again, you've got a block in the middle. And nobody wants that block in the middle, because then that's just irritating. So we're going to start off by getting our redstone block. Like so, and placing a sticky piston going down here. And a redstone block on top of there. Now you're going to get some droppers. <coughs> and place them like this. There's a block there. It doesn't have to be that. We will use that for the power. We've got to place these going into each other. So you shouldn't be able to see any of the dots anywhere. At all. Now. As you can see. Over here. We need to do. Get the observers out. And we need to do them, so we need to come down here, just show this block go underneath, so this dot is facing down, and lead them into here with the block, the block still there. Now we're going to get comparator, place it here, and lead that comparator, it needs to be led into a block. Like so, so this is the little bottom part here. Now, 
this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. We're gonna build upwards here. Place an observer, we've got a jump, place an observer so it's looking down at that, so this is how it should be. Then we're gonna place an observer going out of that one. And then we're gonna place then we're going to, so that's that little part done. And now we're gonna place an observe a uh, um another comparator going into this block on vortex. I'm an observer coming out of this mist. So there we go now guys, if we do this, all closes up nicely. And Okay, sorry, yeah, me being a douchebag, absolutely forgot about that. No, nope, so this won't work at the moment, guys. You need to get the dirt block, or any kind of block, you can just throw away, and just put one of them in this dropper. Now, now it should work. Oh, come on. Destroy this, and you're going to place the observer going in that way. Now it should work. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, now we have the fully. Yeah. Now nah, it works. Sorry, that was just absolutely stupid of me. I placed it in the wrong way. So now, if you prefer to just ship with either, you can, but it is a bit in an awkward bit of space because I'm pretty sure you'd have your floor at this level. So, you destroy this lever, obviously, and then bring this free out like this. Yeah, and obviously you piston place it there like that. And then you can just lead this into a T flip flop or a lead or just another lever in a different place. It really is up to you. Right, so thank you all very much. Very, very, oh my god, I cannot speak today. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Adam on 112. And uh, if you would be very kind to like and subscribe, I would highly appreciate it. Uh, also, I am not going to be posting this weekend, I'm only posting weekdays in the morning. So. I've been on 12, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!